What's going on, everybody? Gem Mint here. You know, I feel like the statue hobby has been in a pretty bad place over the last year, maybe two years. But I got to be honest, I feel like this year, Sideshow is really getting it back on course. They've been dropping a ton of new pieces, artistic, new scales, teases. I tend to not react to these teases until the pre-order is live because I want to get all the pictures, all the information, even though they just teased the Martin Canali Batman premium format, but we'll get to that when the PO drops. But they recently teased a Wolverine Berserker Rage, and they labeled it as a statue. So a lot of us were thinking, okay, they called the Fastball Special premium format, which is quarter scale a premium format, but then they called the smaller one with the comic book background a statue. So we kind of figured, oh, this was just going to be a smaller scale Wolverine statue. No big deal. One uh, fifth scale, one sixth scale, nothing to write home about. But then they showed teases of it next to said fastball special, the previous Wolverine premium format. And it looks like this piece is a one third scale statue, which is crazy. You know, I went to Sideshow Con for like a couple years in a row. I think it was like 2020, 2021. I don't know if I went to 2022, maybe. I asked them, I think during the first one, where they had first displayed all the Iron Studios Sentinel dioramas, if they were ever going to do one-third scale. And they kind of smiled at me and said that it is something that they had planned. You know, a couple years went by, nothing happened. I kind of assumed that they were meaning the stuff they were doing with PCS, you know, distributing their one-third scale stuff. But it looks like they did have something planned. And here we go. Wolverine Berserker Rage uh, statue. It doesn't say the scale. Oh, you know what? Let's read this. So Sideshow presents the Wolverine Berserker Rage statue. This beastly Marvel collectible highlights his fierce, uh, the fierce nature of this superhero. It measures 19 inches tall, 17 inches wide, and 20 inches deep. Uh, as this frenzied mutant becomes downright lethal, caught in a dark, dangerous science facility, Wolverine unsheathes his long claws as he hunches over and prepares to let loose the beast within. When he's overwhelmed by this primal power, nothing and no one can tame him. See, this is that picture. We'll, we'll look more when we look at the pictures. Inspired by the character's appearance in Marvel Comics, this fully sculpted X-Men collectible depicts Wolverine in a fit of total fury. James Howlett wears his team's classic yellow and blue 90s era uniform, complete with an iconic mask and thick gloves and boots. The statue also features a red light-up function and its circular base, which adds to the intense atmosphere. From Logan's intimidating presence to the immense detailing and more, all of these essential elements of Wolverine are packed into a single collectible cementing it as the ultimate centerpiece for all X-Men fans. What are you waiting for, bub? Yo, so I was kind of hoping they would tell us the scale. Sometimes they're a little bit iffy with the scales, right? They always leave it up to interpretation. With the dimensions, it's not that tall, but Wolverine's a short character that's hunched over. Again, we'll look at the details. $820 for what looks like a one-third scale piece with a light-up base. So that's another thing that I'm seeing people in the hobby like, okay, Sideshow, giving us the good price point on such a large piece. Uh, this one was sculpted by Raphael Phillips. I don't know if I'm familiar with any of their work, but uh, Richard Long on the design, who does most of their designs. Casey Love, Master Painter, he does most of those uh, prototype paint jobs. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look. It's supposed to ship. Yo, Q4, it looks like, this year. So here goes the first picture, 30 years of Sideshow. You got Wolverine. It's the more feral-looking version of Wolverine. I don't think we've really gotten this from any of the companies, except for I know LBS was teasing one, uh, the more feral version. But I don't know if that's going to come out. Now that's all up in the air. That's another story. But, uh, man, you know, highly detailed. When, when I first saw this tease and I thought it was a smaller scale, I was like, you know, it looks kind of cool. I wasn't really interested, though. But the size definitely has me interested. All right, so you got the marked up shoulder pads, that snarl. The teeth look great. I can assume in one third scale, they're going to be highly detailed. Fanned out mask with the texturing, huge biceps. Like they mentioned, the very long claws. Man. All right, so here's the picture. So it's next to Logan, the premium format, uh, Daniel Bell, the... Uh, other premium format, which was just the yellow and blue. And you can see the quarter scale diorama in the back. Now, these are one-third scale busts. 
this is more in the distance, but it looks to me like this is a one-third scale piece. I don't think it's big enough to be half scale. Now, I don't know why they're just calling it a statue. They don't have like a, a name for this type of line. Legendary scale is what they call their half scale stuff. Then they have life-size bus, premium formats, maquettes. So, I don't know. I wish they would have came up with like a term for this. But if you know how big these are, you know, they have some oomph to them. I mean, they're not huge pieces, but they're quarter scale statues. This one looks like it's really big. I wonder if they have that picture in the... We'll look for the teaser pictures because they had it with a person in, in frame and it looked huge. All right, so here's from the size. At first, I didn't really like the hunched over look. I'm not really a fan of small Wolverine. Like, I know that's the comic version and everything, but I never liked the idea that, like, one of my favorite heroes was, like, this smaller character. But, you know, it really does give that Marvel vs. Capcom look, right? It's, like, almost the same pose from his fighting pose. So here we got a glimpse of the base. It's all marked up. It's lit up with the red, which I think is a nice touch. You can kind of see it shining on him as well, right? All of the texturing in the... Uh, and the sculpt looks great. The sculpted hair on his forearms. Love the intensity in that snarl. He's got the all white eyes. Here's another angle here. Yeah, this is like screaming 90s, like late 90s, early 2000s Wolverine. Man, I like the design. So here goes the portrait up close. Yeah, I figured those teeth were going to be like those real enamel like looking teeth. The weathering on the gloves. All the battle damage on those shoulder blades. Again, you can see those te uh, the texturing in the mask, seam lines. Oh, this is the picture that I was looking for. So look at this. This is a massive statue, guys. And it's funny. I, it's so unexpected because when this was teased, I thought it was going to be a one-fifth scale statue. But uh, this is a pretty large piece, man. So here's showing the light up base. It's like Wolverine slashes. You got these red vents. Here's without the editing, without the lights. Very clean looking, man. The classic yellow and blue, like they said, with those stripes. Look at the sculpt here. It's fully sculpted, but it really looks like fabric. All of these like stretched out pieces of the uh, uniform there. Weathering on the boots, on the folds and everything. Here goes a nice shot from the back. <laughs> no ditty. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Ninja Funk Bad Music Number 1. Following the battle at Ninja Funk Dojo and the capture of BB, Bad Music retreats to their headquarters at the Nexus. With the love of Laser Wolf's life as irresistible bait, there's no doubt in Queen Bad's mind that her nemesis will come knocking and she's ready for him. Will Laser Wolf, JPG McFly, and Wolfgang see the trap for what it is or run headlong into disaster? Find out in Ninja Funk Bad Music number one in stores April 17th. More weathering on the boots. You can see the leg lifted up here. Give you the idea of the tread. Huge muscular back. What's the difference here? Almost looks like the same picture. Yeah, you got the big veins in his biceps. I mean, this is what Wolverine looks like. It's not my favorite. Like, I like Jim Lee Wolverine. It's not my favorite version of Wolverine, if I had to be completely honest. But the detail, the artistic nature of it, and the size really make me give this a, a second look. Yeah, look at the vein in this bicep here. That's gnarly. Man, the expression, the intensity in his face looks really, really good. Again, that metal base, plain. It's, it's really like a square-shaped piece like if you look at the dimensions so it's uh what is it basic less than 20 inches all around the light up is super cool i wonder if it's going to be plugged in or batteries or what i haven't really seen got the x logo on his belt yeah it's like a realistic version of marvel vs capcom what is with the same picture a bunch of times they really wanted to give us that ass shot <laughs> like look did you see his ass <laughs> that's canada's ass yeah, man. Super surprised, pleasantly surprised with all of the surprises that Sideshow has been giving us this year. With the white in the back. Wow. All right, guys. Looks to be a one-third scale Wolverine Berserker Rage Sideshow. What do you guys think of this, man? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.